In this video, we will explain density and pressure altitude and how it affects aircraft performance. What is density altitude? Density altitude is pressure altitude corrected for non-standard temperature. Aircraft performance increases as the density of air increases. This is called low density altitude. Conversely, aircraft performance decreases as air density decreases. This is called high density altitude. As air density decreases, it affects aircraft performance in three ways. Number one, power is reduced because the engine takes in less air. Two, thrust is reduced because the propeller is less efficient in thin air. Number three, Lift is reduced because the decrease in air molecules exerts less force on the airplane. Let's assume we were in Seattle, which is at sea level. At sea level, the air is denser and there is higher air pressure. If we had a cylinder and were able to visually see air molecules in the cylinder, there would be more air molecules at sea level and the molecules would be densely packed together as shown. Thus, the aircraft will perform better at sea level, assuming standard temperature. Now suppose we flew to Denver, Colorado, which is roughly one mile above mean sea level. The air in Denver is less dense, meaning there are less air particles in a given volume of air, and there is less air pressure when compared to sea level. Thus, aircraft performance is decreased at the higher elevation. Atmospheric pressure is measured in inches of mercury, abbreviated Hg. The standard altimeter setting in atmospheric pressure at sea level is 29.92. As you can see from the chart on the left, air pressure decreases as altitude increases. The standard air pressure lapse rate is a 1 inch of mercury decrease for every 1,000 foot gain in altitude up to 10,000 feet. Density altitude is affected by temperature changes as well. The standard temperature lapse rate is 2 degrees Celsius per 1,000 foot change in altitude up to 36,000 feet, according to the pilot's handbook of aeronautical knowledge. Temperature will decrease 2 degrees Celsius for each 1,000 foot increase in altitude. What is pressure altitude? Pressure altitude is defined as the height above the standard datum plane. The altimeter is essentially a sensitive barometer calibrated to indicate altitude in the standard atmosphere. At the standard altimeter setting of 29.92, the indicated altitude is equal to the pressure altitude. The standard datum plane is a theoretical level at which the pressure of the atmosphere is 29.92 inches of mercury and the weight of the air is 14.7 pounds per square inch, abbreviated PSI, according to the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. Pressure altitude can be determined in three ways. First is setting the altimeter to 29.92 and reading the indicated altitude shown on the altimeter. Second is by applying the correction factor to the altimeter setting. Third is to use an electronic flight computer, such as an E6B calculator. How barometric pressure affects the altitude readings on an altimeter. Suppose we took off from an airport with a field elevation 5,000 feet above sea level without adjusting the altimeter. The air pressure at 5,000 feet is about 24.89 inches of mercury. Now say we flew up to an altitude of 10,000 feet. If we didn't adjust the altimeter to the correct altimeter setting, our altimeter would show an altitude of 5,000 feet, but we would really be 10,000 feet above sea level. If we flew to an area that was at sea level, our altimeter would still show 5,000 feet if the altimeter wasn't adjusted, but we would actually be 10,000 feet above the surface. Thus, 
our indicated altitude would be lower than our actual altitude. Conversely, the opposite is true. If a pilot flies from an area of high pressure to low pressure, the indicated altitude on the altimeter would be higher than the actual altitude if the altimeter setting wasn't adjusted to the correct setting. Thus, the common phrase in aviation, and a good key to remember, is high to low, look out below. This means that an aircraft's altitude would be lower than the indicated altitude if the altimeter was not adjusted and a pilot flew from an area of high pressure to low pressure. Next, we will look at how temperature affects density altitude. Increasing temperature decreases the air density and increases the density altitude. Aircraft typically do not perform as well in hot and humid temperatures. Conversely, air density tends to increase in colder temperatures. Colder temperatures will lead to lower density altitudes. Thus, aircraft will typically see a little bump in performance in colder, dry temperatures. Thank you for watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe for more flight training and aviation related educational videos.